In the history of human achievement, there are countless examples of both men and women who went on to achieve greatness against all odds and limitations. Are you going to set a goal for yourself? Then know about this girl, Wilma Rudolph. She was a premature born baby. She was not as strong as other kids of her age. And at the age of four years, she got polio attack. Doctors said that she could not walk by her own in the future and that she should use leg braces to walk. Her mother regularly gave her encouragement. Her mother gave her positive vibrations every single day. Wilma never gave up. She used wheelchair or sticks to go to school. Wilma was not as strong as other kids of her age. Once she asked a PT teacher about the Olympics and the records made, her sir said, Wilma, why do you want to know about Olympics when you can't even stand by your own in the future? Just then the bell rang and the children rushed to the ground. Wilma saw her friends playing joyfully. She said to herself, can't I stand, walk and run like others? Yes, I can't because I can run far better than others. She immediately took out her leg braces but she fell down and she injured herself very badly. She set her goal to become the world's best runner. Look at a situation, physically weak, polio and such a big goal. Can she achieve it? And did she achieve it? What happened? Happened, happened, happened. She worked out every single day and our days and weeks passed by and she was able to stand by her own. After two years, she was able to walk by her own. There was a running competition held in her school and she said that it, even she would participate in it. Her teacher said no, but she forced her teacher so much that they accepted her. The whistle was blown to start the race. Everyone reached their destination, but Wilma kept standing at the starting point. Again, she gave her name for the next running competition. The whistle was blown again, and this time, again she failed. In this way, she continuously gave her name for the competitions and failed again and again. And when she was 13 years old, she again participated in her school's running competition. And this time, when the whistle was blown, she ran as fast as she could and she was successful in attaining number one position. Then she never turned back. Not her school, district, state. She became a national runner. Just at the age of 20 years, she reached Olympics level. Wilma is a gold medalist now. She started her journey from the ground level and reached the sky. If you can think big, then you'll do big and then you'll achieve big. But you should have courage to think big. Do you have that courage to think big? Do you know what Wilma said after winning? She said that her mother's support and encouragement turned into her two legs and helped her to win the competition. If you don't wake up now, everything is impossible. What would you like to do? Reading history or creating history?